welcome to another video there's an update on Mila she is 24 days old now it's getting big and heavy but uh, yeah we're all doing good hope you enjoy the video Dales from a very misty and foggy Derbyshire Dales. Today I'm going to be detecting on this place. We've never seen it before. It's one of my old favourite permissions, but I've done it to death and there's nothing left. So, well, I thought I'd come and give it another blast today. Um, I have found two really good finds on here. I had a James the First shilling up there, big massive hammered, and I had a World War One huge silver medal just behind this wall here. Um, I'll do a little clip and show you both those finds because they were really good finds and uh, yeah so see you on the first. Are you feeling lucky? Ugh. Oh yes! <laughs> that was brilliant. That is literally the best one I've ever done. It's almost perfectly straight. <laughs> Just have a listen. There's no wind whatsoever. This really is my kind of conditions. Unfortunately, I've got a punch on my car. I'm gonna have to replace the tire when I get back to it, which sucks. This is my first signal. It's coming in at 84. We've got a little Queen Victoria half penny. Look at that, it's beautiful. I've done this field to absolute death. Beautiful. As usual, using my ORX today on Coin Fast. This one was coming in at a faint 94. It's really deep. And look at this, I don't know what it is. It's a big chunk of something. Is this one of those, is it a horse boss or something like that? I'm not sure. I'm sure Ash will know what that is. Seems to know what everything is. Cool. Next up. 83, 82. Could it be a Victoria Penny? We've got some dark gray soil. There's definitely something. There we go. It's uh, Edward the Seventh this time, half penny. The early 1900s, that well. 1901, I think it is. Cool, let's carry on. I've had a few coins out of this field in the past. I'm going to be concentrating on this little bank. Look at this. Nice signal just there. 93, 94. 89, 91, just there, let's see what it is. Um, there we have it, opened it up, that's what the view I'm greeted with. It's obviously in there and it's fell straight out, gone down there. And it's a big old penny, George V, my boy. If that was silver, I would have hit that. But because it's a crusty old penny, I did it perfect. Looks plumb in the middle. Now let's crack on. I don't know why, I seem to be getting a lot of interference today on this place, but uh, I just have to get on with it. What have we got here? Solid 89. Well, I was going to say 91, 90. Let's have a look. Well, it looks like I had a little coin ball here, which fell into the hole. And it's got a big penny in it, I believe. And again, 
it's George V. Me boy. Cool. Next up in the Derbyshire misty fields. We've got 88, 90, just there. Probably another big penny. I always say people sit on these bits, these slope bits. I always seem to do well. Places like this anyway. I've opened it up and I can quite clearly see the soil is dark. There's got to be something in there. There we go. Got another big crusty penny. George V again. Cool. This is my next find. A big lump of bronze with two prongs on it or something. I have no idea what that's from. If anyone's got any ideas, give us a shout. Next up, this one's coming in 85, 86. And I'm sure I've seen a little bit of silver. Where's it gone? I think I've lost it. There we go. It's just a only a 1940s sixpence. But they all count, don't they? 1944. George the Sixth. Cool. It's very quiet today. I can't believe how little wind there is. Next up. 95, 96. It's looking star shaped. So, what's this going to be? I do not know. Is it a pin badge? Looking. Do you know what? It was, I actually thought this was going to be iron when I dug it. Because I was getting a, an irony signal. And that's what it was. The pin on the back. So, it's, it must be a brooch or something, pin badge. Let me clean this up a little bit and come back to you. Well, howdy there, partner, and I'm the sheriff. <laughs> Look at that, it's a sheriff badge, unbelievable. It's even got a little cowboy and Indian on it. Look, oh, That's a cool little find. Is there an eagle on there as well? Draw, pilgrim! I've sat in this barn many times over the years. Had a few brews, had a couple of beers in here, plenty of sandwiches, and I'm just having a five minute break. And I'm going to go back to the car in a minute and check out our flat tyres. <laughs> Hello! I've just been for my lunch, uh, I've come back into the field, first signal mid-tone, I said to myself that's going to be a two shilling, and looking at that imprint, I think I could be right, I'm not sure, it says Elizabeth on it, so it's going to be a 10p or a two shilling in it, that's a 10p, <laughs> big old 10p. This machine's driving me nuts today, I'll be honest. Listen. Really annoying. Probably these power lines. But next up. This was a ropey signal, pretty deep. And I think I haven't got a clue where it is. Oh, there it is. And we've got a button. Oops, first button of the day. Yep. Not a signal for ages. Finally had something. A little 86, and look at that. It's a little chuffing decimal half penny look. Out here in the middle of nowhere. What are the chances of that? Next up in the misty fields, 
I've had one of these before. Last time I found one of these, someone commented and said it's from a toilet, I believe. Something to do with the ball cock, is it? We're going in the scrap. I've had various bits of junk in the last hour. This one feels good. 85, 86. Surely a coin. I think it's going to be a button. I've opened it up. And there's something there. Unfortunately, it's green. We all know what that means. Oh, what? What is that? Just a piece of bronze. Don't know what it's from. Could just be a bit of scrap. Who knows? I can't get over how little wind there is. It's always deadly silent apart from this bloody machine. Next up. Nice faint. What is it? Just there. It's all over the place really. High 80s. Let's have a look. I've opened it up. It's literally sat on top. Unfortunately, I reckon it's going to be a button. Oh, it's a button. No mind. Next up, this one was coming in at a bit of a mid tone, and it's obviously another button. It's a funny colour. There's your shank. Yep, I thought them white things in the fields were uh, sheep, but they're actually seagulls. You see them? The white dots. This one's coming in the mid tone, 60s, mid 60s. Opened it up, and I think I've got a buckle just there. Have I got a buckle? No. <laughs> it's a piece of bronze fragment off a plate, probably. Yep. Next up, I knew this was iron, but I thought I'd dig it anyway. As it was right on a footpath. Yep. Next up, 88, just there, let's come out in the second scoop, it's looking round, probably a big penny, and crusty, just like the others, probably George V again, but it's another pre-decimal coin, this one's not bad, in amongst the chatter and the interference, where are we? Just there. 90. I've opened it up and I think I've got a little coin ball just there. It fell off there. Dark soil. What's it going to be? I reckon it's going to be a three P just to crusty three pence to condemn this day to just doom. Oh, I don't believe it. It is as well. A crusty free p yeah to go with my flat tire next up this was a mid tone and i've opened it up and this is exactly how i've ended up i've got it on the spade and i've hit it yeah it looks like it was there it's probably going to be queen victoria crusty on that side Quite a big signal, let's see if there's any more. There was no more signals, and there we have it. It's Queen Victoria. The other side's completely uh, crusty. Can't do anything with that. But still, it's another Victorian coin. Well, I've obviously never been on this part of the footpath because I've just had coin number four in the space of, what, 15 minutes? Another crusty mid-tone. Probably another half penny. Look at that, it's completely smooth on that side. And completely smooth on that side. I actually like finding coins like that. Let's see if we can get anything off it, I'll come back to you. I 
I can hear voices up there somewhere, but I can't see anyone, which is a bit odd. Uh, anyway, I've cleaned that coin, give it a little wipe. Phone is struggling, but you can just see Queen Victoria facing the left there. So we've got another Queen Victoria off penny. Love it when they're nice and smooth like that. Cool, another mid-tone. High 70s. I've got it out. Let's see what it is together, shall we? It could be a half penny, or it could be a piece of junk. Well, that's me done for today. I can't take this anymore, this machine. Do my head in. Been like this all day, I don't know why. It's faulting constantly. Um, there was a field that was quiet where I found the three decimal coins, but uh, yeah, I can't be bothered anymore. So I'm just going to call it a day. So I'll see you on the next one. So here are my finds from today, uh, I'll start at the bottom, I don't know what that is, I think it's, is it a horse pass or horse brass, something like that. We got the sheriff badge, it's kind of cool, never seen one of those before. Uh, I've got a fragment of a medieval pot I reckon. This thing, I don't know what it is, uh, it's probably just going to scrap. Uh, we got one, two, three, four crusty George V's. Then we've got uh, three Queen Victoria half pennies. That aren't too bad. This one's Edward the Seventh, Mr. Baldy. Favourite coin, frappy bit. Uh, we got a little decimal pen, uh, half penny, old tempe, one, two, three buttons, and then this. I just thought, oh my god, did I really find that? And apparently my dad put it there last night. Uh, playing a trick on me. He found it somewhere. Don't know where, but that is a nice coin. 1897, one cent. And where on earth did he find that? Right, anyway. I'll, uh, oh, and here's my little silver sixpence. My favourite find of the day. Yep, right, see you on the next.